Hello and welcome to Miniatures Rundown. I'm Mitchell. Today I am solo because Joshua is away at a convention. But it's all good. I'm going to cover the new releases anyway. Welcome to the Sunday Preview Rundown. Uh, first thing up is we have a preview for a preview. Warhammer Day is coming on October 14th. And they're doing some previews for uh, 40k, Sigmar, The Old World, and Kill Team. Finally, Kill Team upset that josh isn't here to talk about it but finally kill team it's okay first thing they revealed to us is the new exemplary battles for horse heresy it has that beautiful fulgrim on the cover which is strange because he's actually not in the reveals today you'd think it would be the same week but it's not the same week oh i guess it should be mentioned uh it up here two week pre-order like it has been for the last two weeks so it looks like we were correct and this is going to be uh, what they're doing for a little while, just starting with the Space Marines rather than... Yeah, we're going to see where it goes. They're going to have to... Well, I guess they don't have to go back to one-week pre-order, but it wouldn't upset me if they stayed at two weeks. 112-page uh, expansion for Horus Heresy has rules for Fulgrim, has uh, army rules for Emperor's Legion, or sorry, Emperor's Children Legionnaires, update for Horus Heresy stuff, which is cool. I'm not upset about it. It's fine. And we have the new Legion Astartes Battle Group, which has a whole bunch of the Mark, I believe that's Mark Three. Yep, Mark Three Power Armor, so that's the Knight Helmet. The new plastic Derideo Dreadnought, and then a Land Raider Proteus, which is not a new kit, and that one's been out for a little bit. But hopefully a nice little mix. It's got 30 Marines? Yep, 30 Marines in it. Curious to see what this is going for. It's, I'm going to say probably 200, but who knows. Because that's like 80 bucks, 100 bucks. Uh, they showed all, all of the Horse Heresy stuff off at, uh, what was it? It wasn't LVO. It might have been LVO. Nova Open. Nova Open, that's what it was. So yeah, we're just seeing this stuff come out. Uh, hopefully this will be uh, this will, this will be in plastic as well as the individual Mark III Marines, if you just want those. Uh, all of the previous tacticals in plastic have been $80, so I'm going to guess this is the same. Going down to the Derideo Dreadnought with the auto cannons or the plasma, probably be another 80 maybe a bit more, because there's, there's a lot of plastic. Uh, I'm glad that this guy's available in plastic for the first time, which is awesome. Some upgrades for Sons of Horus. I don't know why these are Sons of Horus. I guess they have the little, the little Horus icon. But other than that, these are just, like, arms and axes and stuff, which you can kind of put on anyone. But I guess I don't play Horus Heresy, so it could be wrong. Then we have the Warhammer Commemorative series, the new commemorative, for the pretty sweet-looking Votan. Has the shield down, huge hammer, just in kind of a resting position. I like it. The only thing I don't like is this little, little stag head up here. Not really for me. I Well, I mean, we all know I don't like dwarves in general, but, you know, this is this is one of the good sculpts. Then we have something I find interesting, the Storm Vault Skirmish case. So it's for, it's it's got these weird silicone fingers that kind of like hold the models. They kind of like press together and hold the models in place. I am interested to see how well it works because it looks like on the, the front, well, I guess on both they kind of like very gently place them in there. And I'm curious if it's actually going to hold stuff in place. And also it says it goes any type of miniature on a 25 to 40 mil base and up to a 75 mil oval, which I will, I will do a double check and see what the, I think it's 75 is 42 in 42 millimeters on the, the small oval. So we'll see what that actually holds, but yep, yeah, it's a skirmish case. It's, it's pretty small. It only holds, so these are 40 mil bases because they're storm cast. So it's going to hold 12, 40 mil bases might hold a bit more on the smaller side. Like if you're, you're playing Necromunda, you're playing kill team, this is going to be pretty ideal. Uh, other than that, it doesn't have a whole lot of use. I don't think it's not going to hold anything like a tank or anything because it's uh the dimensions are too small. Blood bowl, woo. kill team, war cry, blood bowl, Necromunda, all that stuff. Underworlds, interestingly, but it's going to hold more. Uh, than a single Underworlds Warband, I guess. Yeah, I think the most is like eight. 
So yeah, it's going to hold probably two, maybe three war bands if they're small. And we don't have a lot today. Uh, this is the limited edition set for the Dark Coil. Uh, I haven't read any of this. I actually have the Reverie, but I haven't read it yet. Uh, the cover looks very cool. I like the, the box set being like the spiral and the three symbols like representing each book is my assumption. Fall of Cadia has uh, Bursky on the front. I don't know who that is. No, it doesn't say. I don't know who that is. I'm not a guard player. Anger on the Red Angel. Good for you, world eaters. Does this follow? See, again, anything. Calls the Scattered Legion back to his side and barks on a conquest. This looks like from... Yeah. Angron's perspective I'd be okay with that that sounds awesome Forges of Mars I've said this before and I'll say it again basically any book that doesn't follow sorry any 40k book that doesn't follow the Space Marines as the main characters is interesting to me so this one has Space Marines of course and Skatari I would be interested in seeing like the Skatari society and how they think and kind of stuff that's that's pretty cool to me print on demand rogue trader book this is for a very small audience, I feel. It's going to be for collectors and literally nobody else. Which is, you know what, that's fine. If you're a collector, go for it, man. Yeah, unfortunately not a lot to show off today. We got the the sweet looking horse heresy models, which some people will love. And you you know what, use them in 40k, go for it. The Derrideo, I don't actually know if that one still has rules or if that's a horse heresy thing. I think it's a horse heresy thing now. Tacticals, whatever, use them if you want to. The Land Raider Proteus, probably past the Land Raider, I believe. Uh, it's a little bit smaller than the current active Land Raider. And especially since those are impossible to find, I'm sure no one would be upset about it. But anyway, or if you play Horus Heresy, this is a pretty great box. Gotta check on price, though. Everything is price dependent. The only thing that's curious to me is, why is Fulgrim not in here? This is everything else Horus Heresy that they showed off at Novin, but not him. I don't know. Especially since he's on the cover of the book. I don't get it. If you're interested in any of these Pretty Horse Heresy things, or maybe the I'm Here Champion for the commemorative series, let us know in the comments below. Until next time, I've been Mitchell. Bye bye